Hello guys, welcome to our channel once again. Today we will learn about how we can alter the delta table. It is very common that we define schema of delta table initially and later on we get requirements to rename the column or add a new column. If the schema of source has changed, we will see how can we incorporate these changes. Let's go ahead and see how we can alter our delta table here. My first line says to remove my previous delta table, which I just want to clean up. I will remove the files, will drop the table, and will recreate it. This is a simple one three columns as you can see we are creating a simple delta table on top of that will do some operations. How we can rename the column? What are the pitfalls of that? So here we are inserting three different records so that we can also experiment what happens their data when we alter the table. Alter the columns. So here we go, we can see there are three rows here and three columns as expected. I am going to tell you how you can rename it here. Suppose if we want to alter the name of this column, which is deaths. Suppose by mistake it was made deaths, and we want to change it to total underscore death. Let's see how we can do that. So this is the format you can see. What we're doing is we're reading it in the first step and we're telling rename this column, and again we're overwriting here. Important part is this option override schema true. But you can see after running this we will again go back and select query. You can see here. Now the column has changed and then one more thing I want to highlight here is now you still have the data. All rows are intact, even the values are intact here, so nothing is going to happen with your data as well. Okay. Now we'll chat about how you can add a new column. How to add a new column recovered, here is the syntax we will use. As a first step again we read the delta record in delta format. Then we're seeing with column in the previous one it was with column rename. Now it is with column. Options we tell that overwrite the schema and save to the same location again dot we will execute and see. Let's run the display. Okay, this is a different one. I will talk about this one later. Well, we'll add one column in a different way, so just leave this one. We need to rerun the delta table query, let me run this. This is a table, we will run that. Here we can see a new column recovered added in the table. Another test case is what happens if we simply rerun the query again. Does it throw error or not? No, it did not. So another thing we will try is now we'll update those column records values, few of them, and then we'll rerun and see what happens. I'm assigning these two different values to two different rows 100 and 200 and we'll go back execute this. And we'll see that values are reflected before we run over alter. We'll go back and rerun the over with column commands where we are adding a new column. So expectation is that or let's see what happens. Yep, now you can see these two record has become blank and the reason is that when we add a column we're saying lit and single quote. That means by default it is assigning those blank values that will not retain the value. If you already have it, and if you rerun, then you will lose the data. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. You can also join the Telegram group for deeper technical discussions.